My name is Sabrina Romanov, and in this video, I'm going to talk about ChatGPT Search. A few days ago, OpenAI officially released Search to help you find information instantly and see all the sources cited, all without having to leave ChatGPT. Imagine Google Search, but embedded directly within ChatGPT. And in this video, I'll walk through how it works and some ways to use it. Just like before, when you ask a question, ChatGPT decides whether it should search the web or respond with existing knowledge. I talked about this in a previous video. It's powered by browsers with Bing. And if ChatGPT decides it needs fresh information, like the latest sports scores or news updates, then it will trigger a web search automatically. But now with ChatGPT search, you can also manually activate search by clicking this icon right here, search the web. And it uses OpenAI's GPT-40 model to supply information on topics like sports, news, etc., complete with all of the sources and links so you can dive in, learn more, and confirm factual information. They've We've even partnered with reputable data providers such as AP for accurate, reliable information. In terms of availability, it's currently available as of November 2nd, 2024 to all Plus and Team users, as well as Search GPT waitlist users. Enterprise and education users will get access in the next few weeks, and free users will get it over the next couple of months. So to try it out, log into ChatGPT. And again, you can manually enable it by clicking Search the Web here, or if you type a query that requires fresh recent information, ChatGPT will automatically search the web. So as a simple example, let's just ask, what's the weather in Salt Lake City, Utah? Okay. And you can see here, ChatGPT says it's searching the web and it has this nicely formatted answer pulled from weather.gov. And I see a severe weather advisory until Sunday because it's starting to snow here. And you can see links embedded throughout its answer. Here's National Weather Service. And if you want to see all of the sources that were used, click sources. Here's the citation. The top one is the National Weather Service. It also shows you the search results. Now let's ask about trending news. Tell me about the fake hollow Halloween parade in Dublin that AI generated. Searching the web again, it pulled multiple sources. You can see the citations and search results here. Basically what happened, I just heard about this this morning, but in Dublin, Ireland, there's supposedly a fake Halloween parade listed on some AI website. What makes this really powerful is how it's pulling real-time information, news, and updates from the internet. So instead of having to go to Google separately in a new tab, you can search the entire web, chat with the web entirely within ChatGPT's interface. Here you can see the sources cited throughout its answer. People over here, the sun over here. Now, one thing ChatGPT was really weak at before was local information, like local businesses and things like that. I'd always have to go to Google or Yelp to figure out like, where, where do I want to eat today. Let's say you're in the mood for pizza and you want to find the best places in Salt Lake City. And again, it's searching the web here and the output is a list or a map of the different places that you might want to consider. So instead of having to go to Google or Yelp to find this information, you can do it all within ChatGPT. And this is available in the ChatGPT mobile app as well. So you can do this while on the go. And this is pretty accurate as somebody who has eaten a lot of pizza and Salt Lake City, Seto is the top ranked. The pie is really awesome too. Bricks is awesome for Detroit style pizza. Rusted Sun is, is amazing as well. The list of the best pizza places is spot on. If you click directions, it opens Google Maps, making it super easy. This is the website you can call. And now let's say you want to ask a follow up question. Let's say you don't really want deep dish or Detroit style pizza. Let's say you want Neapolitan type pizza. Okay. And now ChatGPT instantly followed up by narrowing down the list to Neapolitan type pizza. Cetabello again, number one, absolutely. Instead of having to go to Google or Yelp and like filter by what kind of pizza and look at the pictures and things like this, you can simply talk to ChatGPT. You're talking with the entire internet. And if you want to learn more, all of the sources over here. Now, similarly, ChatGPT search can give you real-time sports updates. I don't know much about sports, so I'm just going to ask ChatGPT, give me the most exciting sports news today. And again, it's searching the web because it's assessed that my prompt requires real-time fresh information. It's pulling from ESPN, Yahoo Sports, CBS Sports, CNN, AP, Bleacher Report, etc. So here's the most exciting sports news today. Now, if you want to search for a particular score, give me the scores for the big game last night. 
And again, I don't know much about sports, so I'm just hoping that this works. Okay, so here's the NBA schedule and a bunch of scores for the game tonight, Friday, November 1st. Now I want to illustrate the difference between using ChatGPT without access to the internet versus using it with access to the internet. And this is a really simple example. We're going to ask ChatGPT to define the word serendipity. Okay, and here you can see it didn't say searching the web anymore like it usually does. It's actually using its existing knowledge without having to search the internet. But now if I click search the web, this is telling ChatGPT explicitly I want it to search the internet. So now we're, we're going to say define serendipity. Now it's searching the web. Okay, and it gives us a definition from Merriam-Webster, the dictionary. And this is a really simple example, but I encourage you to try it with the types of prompts that you usually use. Test it out with ChatGPT search to see the difference in responses. Now I want to illustrate it with a more realistic example. Let's say you are trying to figure out which social media platform you should start on for your new business. So you ask ChatGPT, what is the one social media platform I should start on? As a complete beginner, you must recommend only one, okay? I'll hit enter and here ChatGPT did not search the web. It's using its existing knowledge and it recommended Instagram. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on search the web, type in the same prompt. Now it's searching the web, a bunch of different sources. And now the answer is different. For a complete beginner, Facebook is an ideal starting point with nearly 3 billion monthly active users. Okay, whereas before its recommendation was actually Instagram. And this is really important because trends may change over time, year over year. I believe ChatGPT 4.0's knowledge cutoff is late 2023. And so for questions where you want the most recent information, like what should I do today in late 2023? for, it can be really useful to explicitly turn on search the web. And the last thing I want to cover is that OpenAI also released a companion Chrome extension called ChatGPT Search. And there are many confusing clones and stuff, so I'll provide the correct link in my newsletter. This Chrome extension makes ChatGPT your default search engine instead of Google. Yeah, so you can replace use of Google altogether. Even if you're using the Google Chrome web browser, which I do, it will redirect your your new search request to ChatGPT. And for any particular query, you can always opt out by typing in exclamation point G and then your search query. So I'll show you how that works. First, go to this link, okay? Make sure it looks like this, ChatGPT search, okay? And this is how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna add it to Chrome here and you're gonna see when you type in the browser, like what's the weather, it's gonna default to ChatGPT and open ChatGPT in a separate tab. Add it to Chrome, So now it's been added. To and let's try that again, like best pizza in Salt Lake City. And you can see here, it's saying ChatGPT search, clicking enter. You guys may not see this pop up, but I see a pop up that asks me whether to change it back to Google search. So Google Chrome is already fighting this Chrome extension. It wants you to change it back to Google search. So I type best beats in Salt Lake City. ChatGPT opened this new conversation. You can see there's no additional history and it answered my question in this new ChatGPT chat. Now, if you absolutely want to use Google search, okay, go to the search bar and type exclamation G and then type best pizza in Salt Lake City. Okay, exclamation G. And this will route the query over to Google search and open your answer in Google search just as you're used to. This is obviously a very big move from OpenAI to keep you within the ChatGPT ecosystem. You can search the internet, chat with the internet without ever having to go to Google. So it's incredibly powerful. The Chrome extension makes it easy to use everywhere, incorporating your daily workflows. And you can always default back to Google search if you need. All right, my name is Sabrina Romanov. Hope this video was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my free AI newsletter, sabrina.dev, where you can get free ChatGPT prompts, playbooks, and 